Good evening, everyone. Today is day 62 of my 90 day video blog challenge. Um, tonight, I wanted to talk about um, people keeping their word. You know, back in the day, um, and I'm talking about like, I guess the 30s, 40s, whatever. Um, people said things that they were going to do things and, you know, their word really mattered. It really counted and it really meant something. Of course, that was also back when you can have a verbal contract. Not like you can today. Um, but the people's word really meant something. And they took pride in it. Because whatever they put their word on, their name was on. And whatever their name was on, they were proud of. And they made an effort to you know, make sure that it came out right. And that it was the best that it could be. Or at least as far as that they could do. Um, nowadays, it looks like everybody is just okay with mediocrity. Like it's just okay to be halfway with it. Like just because I said I was going to do it don't mean I'm actually going to do it. I mean, Jesus, back off, you know, and that's the kind of attitude we get with it nowadays. When, you know, if somebody told you that they were going to do something, they're expecting it to be done. And if you can't get it done and you expect the courtesy of just telling me why you can't get it done or why you can't do it. And instead, nowadays, it's just like, it's okay. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, hey, get off my back. So I didn't get it done today. I'll do it tomorrow. Or, geez, why don't you do it yourself if it's that, you know, important to you? And it's not even about all of that. It's just about you doing what you say you're going to do. And I've come, encountered this on different levels, whether it's people supposed to come to my house and do something, whether it's, you know, a guy who's trying to talk to me and, you know, talking about he want to take me out or whatever the case may be, whether it's a friend, whether it's somebody at work, whatever it is, is, you know, you encounter it all the time where people are telling you things that they're not doing. And then they don't even have a courtesy to tell you that they're not going to do it. And sometimes I wonder if we've progressed at all as a society, because I look around and see the way things are like right now, there's this fight for increasing the minimum wage. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to be the first one to put it out here. Um, I don't agree with it. I don't. You raise the minimum wage and what's going to happen. You're going to raise everything else. Why? Because that's just how it works. You come up with a better system other than what it is that's out there. Right now, because you keep increasing minimum wage and then the cost of living goes up as well. So come up with a better system. How about you regulate the gas bills so that the gas doesn't go over a certain price? Why don't you regulate the gas that's at the pumps so that they, they have a minimum and a maximum that they can charge us and that's it. They can't go over that. How about you regulate, you know, the, the amount of trade that comes in to where we don't have to pay as pay so high of a price? How about you tax the people and the companies that go overseas and get people to do their jobs um, why don't we start with some of that and get that cost of living down and get some of the things that we use every day at a bare minimum or at some type of standard and then decide about raising the raising your minimum wage because as long as everything is staying the same then you're going to keep running into the same problems over and over and over again if you really really want to help people on minimum wage then you need to do something about the things that we use in our day-to-day -day life our necessities our lights, our gas, the gas we put in the car, the food we put on our table. Those are things that we need standards on. Insurance. Okay, come on. I live in Detroit. My insurance is, well, actually, my insurance is pretty good compared to everybody else. But when you compare it to nationally, it's ridiculous. We should not be paying this much. So if you really want to help people on minimum wage, then do something about the cost of the things, the necessities that are required for us to have in order for us to go about our day-to-day -day lives you know no insurance if you want minimum wage yes your insurance on your car is going to kill your check yes it will so why not have it regulated across the board some type of regulation that's the, I don't think that's asking for too much. Same thing, like I said, with the gas in your car, food you put on the table, your lights, your gas, all these things that are necessity for people to have to exist and live comfortably. Regulate it. Plain and simple. And once you do that, then come to me talking about minimum wage. But I know the second you increase minimum wage, everything else is going to increase. Cost of living is going to increase. And guess what? The person who was making a $7 an hour, now they're making 10 and it ain't no different than when they was making the 7 just like seven right now ain't no different than when they was making the six something. So if you really want to fix problems, find the root of the problem and then do something different. 
Everybody always talk about the definition of insane is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. If you're going to do the same thing over and over and over again, you're still going to get the same thing over and over and over again. Plain and simple. I don't care how I add 1 plus 1, it's always going to equal 2. Always. Plain and simple. So, how did I get to this off of your word, keeping your word? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> well, my message today was supposed to be keeping your word because your word represents who you are. How I ended up on minimum wage, I don't know. Probably because I was discussing it at work with some people earlier. But in any case, those are my two messages today. <laughs> so, you know, keep to your word. Do what you say you're going to do. Your word represents who you are as a person. Plain and simple. So if you want to be a known as somebody who... Excuse my language, you want to be known as half ass Sally or John, then keep doing it that way. You know, don't keep to your word. Don't do what you say you're going to do. If you're looking for somebody, you you want to live the millionaire lifestyle, but you going off of the post mentality, po man mentality because you don't feel it's necessary to do what, what you're supposed to do, or you like, geez, why that person getting mad at me, then you're going to stay where you are. Plain and simple. I don't know where we went wrong. I don't know where we got off track. But somewhere in our society we got off track. And now it's just crazy. So I really do think we should go back to some of those old ways. And sometimes I really don't think that, you know, technology and everything else actually benefited us. Because in other points, they really set us back. It really did. Like customer service. But I'm not going to get into customer service. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But customer service is another one, which also goes with that minimum wage. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about that one tomorrow. Tomorrow will be minimum wage. But anyway, for tonight, for tonight. All I'm saying is, is if you say to somebody that you're going to do it, make sure you get it done because it is a representation of you. Your word is your bond. Your word is a representation of you. I can't say it enough. Your word is a representation of you and should be your bond. So if you tell somebody you're going to do something, you should do it plain and simple, plain and simple. And that's it. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Um, like I said, tomorrow I think I'll do minimum wage because this is some stuff I want to discuss about that. There's just... Yeah. Okay. Y'all got a piece of it already tonight. So y'all know I'm just a touchy subject for me right now. But anyway, so that's it for tonight. You guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.